Hello everybody and welcome to this new video. In today's video I, I want to show you and of course to guide you to this program that I recently and by recently I mean in about two years ago I learned about. It's called the Valentina Project. So this program is actually, let me show you here, is a free program made by students and I mean, it's it's really a very good program in general. I really love it and I like to make my patterns here. So why do I want to show you <laughs> this one? Because um, my maybe teaching you um, some patterns here and some patterns on paper, but um, I'm also going to be like teaching you how to use this program. It's not hard. You maybe need a little bit of knowledge of any kind of program. If you know, like, for example, um, Illustrator, Photoshop, like the very basic knowledge of the programs, then I think this is going to be very easy for you. So here's Valentina program um, official website. So here you have to click here for for the current stable version because if you use the um, like if you start here testing this version believe me you'll have maybe some trouble here because there may be uh, be some program errors or something but yeah so they so go to the current stable version and here are the packages i mean there's for windows 7 or more even windows xp and the mac ubuntu and debian and a lot of as you can see a lot of um operating systems okay so here i have like already installed the Windows 7 Plus from Windows 7 or higher. And like I told you, this this um, programs is this program specifically is very lightweight and it just I don't know. I mean, I really love it. You don't need to like with the Illustrator that you need a better graphic card or PC in general. So anyways, here I have it already installed. So this is obviously my Valentina, the Valentina logo. And here I can use like the new one, the pattern piece number one, and you can use centimeters, inches or millimeters. Of course, I'm using centimeters and let's say these are for, um, let's say the front, front pattern. All right, so here I have my toolbar. Here's like the points, lines. This one, these ones are to make lines and this is for, as it says, the point and a line intersection. So the, the ones that we mostly use for this, or we will <laughs> use mostly, are these ones here. And then the curved lines also. So there I have a lot of stuff like I have to talk to you about. So let's say I'll be making here. I'm just using my mouse click and then going. This one can go as you can tell anywhere. But if you want to make make it straight, a straight line, you have to hold shift. You, as you can tell, and can make a 40 degree angle, 19 and 180 degree okay so a straight line and once you click there it, it tells you the length and the angle of your line so for example I'm just I'll just be making like a random thing here a random pattern let's say uh, here I'm making a 15 centimeter thing and here I have like my color I don't care about it right now but you can change as you can see like a dotted line, like a straight line and blah, blah, blah. So here I'll just, or even just to mark the points, you can use this one. 
and the color here I have some colors but I'll be using black okay so now to zoom out here you can use from this from this bar you can just click zoom out but if you want to make it easier you can hold control and with your mouse go out so with the mouse wheel all right you you hold control and with the mouse wheel you zoom in and zoom out all right in out in out all right so right now i have this straight line and i'm making i'll be making a square let's let's say all right so i'm going down 15 centimeters too and since i don't let's say you don't want to be doing like this and again like that no right so we just simply go with this tool that says point from x and j of two other points so here i click like it uh, it says like the the j and the x remember which one is one which is which i think this one's x and this one's j okay and like this here i have it so as you can see it didn't make any line so here we go to to the line bar and we trace the line like this all right so let's say that i have my pattern done because as you know you can make any kind of pattern any kind of pattern it doesn't really matter all right so let's say that i have my pattern already made we have this operation i mean detail bar we click this like it's a pattern with a plus in green it says workpiece tool and one of the um, how we could say uh, a rule that the Valentina has is that you have to click when you're tracing uh, the pattern that you already made just to add up the seam allowance and that stuff you have to click clockwise like this so here I'm going to I'll start with let's go with a all right so a a1 a3 and last a2 and once you're finished you click enter and here I have here it opens another window and it says num uh, name of detail which is the pattern so I'm calling this just a square all right and for width flipping, force flipping, height main path, and that's the only thing that you can change. Oh, also over here, if you did something wrong, it tells you that, like uh, you need to do it clockwise or the direction is wrong, anything. Okay, so I'm clicking OK, and then here on this other bar, I'm clicking on details, and as you can see. I'm zooming out so let's say this one is a um a napkin okay so options i don't want to call it square anymore i'm calling napkin okay so this one's gonna have like a similar ones of let's say that i want everything to be 1.5 okay so i'm clicking okay and it's the dotted line that you can see here is my similar ones now the grain line you can also add a grain line here the length I'll be making it of 10 centimeters and you can also add a label I'm sorry I'm I think I'm going way too fast but I just want to show you how it looks like all right so whoops here I have one of my labels but you will have just these two def pattern label I'm clicking this one okay and on the preview I don't see anything so maybe this one's not it so here I think it is all right I, all right so here I can just add three letters on the letter part but you can also like mm, let's say I'll delay this one I'll just have the pattern name and the fabric how much you ha have to cut and the quantity okay for the labels i forgot to add the detail label okay 
so fabric and stop here I have it and you can edit like this okay oh I remember like the fabric and that stuff here you click on labels edit template and here where it says label um, you can use um, instead of like fabric um, here we have a lot of stuff let me see because I remember oh yeah material lining interlining interfacing measurements file name oh here I'll talk to you about that so anyways yeah there you have it now let's say that you have your pattern ready now you click on layout here I prefer to have like this roll in 24 inches maybe if they're big I used like up to 36 because larger is not for me obviously so of course here click OK and it says like searching for the best position and then if you want to like print it you go to file layout preview tiled PDF okay so here the problem of Valentina that I can only tell you is that it uses a lot of blank space let's say so here I'll try to edit maybe to an A4 yeah it goes very well so you have to edit according to your necessities for example if you make like a very small like let's say a doll um, clothing or if you're making a napkin <laughs> I mean this kind of patterns you can do it like on paper it doesn't matter but when you're making bigger patterns like a trousers or a dress whatever you can use you can use Valentina okay so here if you want to save it you click this one here where it says export original layout click and then we go down 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 to the PDF tile files so what I like the most about Valentina is that you can actually um, print on a home printer so you don't need a plotter or anything okay so here I have the PDF tile files and you can browse here I have like the place where I keep some patterns and I think that's basically you click OK of course you change the name here click OK and it will make you a PDF pattern so this is a very small introduction for you to Valentina. I hope you enjoy watching this one because I think I'll be making more stuff like this, okay? So I hope you enjoy watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe and just download Valentina. You can use it even in an old um, laptop this one is not available on iPads or tablets, but I hope they will. <laughs> they will very soon. I'm, I'm pretty sure. All right. So I hope you enjoy watching you guys. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. All right. So see you in the next video. In the next video, I'll be talking more about the toolbar. All right. So like I said, this one's a small introduction. All right. See you very soon. Goodbye.